Well, hello everybody, and welcome to a edition of Dirt Your Hooves, where um, I know the Phoenix has come out, and this is what we're in today, um, the A320 Phoenix. Um, so, there's a little bit of confusion on how to set up the, how to calibrate your throttles. So, I mean, again, here we have, you know, our derpy, you know, Phoenix A320, and our derpies discount airways livery but you know just to show you that we're in it we're in the phoenix trust me this is the phoenix and you know the um the flyby wire and the um the uh whatever it is the sobo don't look like this so there you go that's what we're in and we're gonna go on inside and i'm gonna look at here and i'm gonna look at my mcdu now when you first load the plane, the MCDU should show up just like this, right? And you should have, you know, like your flight management and your, you know, you can, you don't want to mess with any of this right now. And I'm not going to teach you how to um, program the autopilot. I'm just going to teach you how to, yeah, my throttle's possessed um, by a, a nightmare pony or something. So, um, let's actually go over that for a second here. Um, I'm using the X56, the SciTech X56 um, Hodison throttle, and it's a split throttle. And it's super sensitive, and I have my settings set to super sensitive. Um, so occasionally, if I don't keep my hand perfectly on it, um, it tends to rock back and forth. That has nothing to do with this tutorial. Um, I'm not even going to get into that, but you may notice that. So I'm going to calibrate my throttle, right? Because I know exactly how to use this throttle. So when the MCDU loads on the MCD menu, you want to click config, right? This is the actual tutorial, not me griping about my throttle. Okay, so MCDU menu, so nothing else, not flight plan, not directory. MCDU menu will bring you the config option and you hit config and then if you go down here on the left hand side it says data link config controls config control config and you have uh, calibrate now I've already calibrated this so that's why it says clear calibration so let's just say I did another flight in theory Right, I should clear my calibration if I'm going to recalibrate. So I'm going to click clear calibration, and that option goes away. If you've never calibrated it, you're not going to have that there. You're just going to have calibrate, and you can just go ahead and proceed directly to calibrate. So here's calibrate right here. Um, it's line four on the right side. And you select line four, and it says when you click calibrate, you see what I just did? Right there, calibrate. I click calibrate. That's what you want to do, click calibrate. And it says set thrust levers to max reverse thrust. To max reverse thrust. So I want to set them to max reverse thrust. Right, so there we go, and I have set them. Let's zoom out a little bit. I have set them to max reverse thrust. I don't want to go any farther back than this. And now that I've done that and the detents right there, I click next step and it changes to idle reverse. Well, set it to idle reverse, right? So idle reverse is going to be right there. It clicked. That's going to be idle reverse. So I'm happy with that, and I'm gonna say next step. Now it says set thrust levers to idle. To idle, okay, I pushed them right up there to idle. It said idle, next step. Set thrust levers to climb. Set them all the way up to climb, and ignore the mouse all the way up to climb. Boom. I just heard a click, right? So that's going to be climb, because I'm going to click next step. 
it says to flex MCT, right? So to flex MCT, that mouse and the eyeball are driving me nuts. And flex MCT, there we are. Okay. So I'm happy. That's where that's going to be. And I click next step. Next step's going to be full throttle, right? TOGA. So I slide it to where I want that to be. And that's the max of my, you know, throttle for the most part. And I click next step, right? And I ignore the warnings I know that my throttle's at max, right? This is the last step. Store calibrations. Done. And now I can bring my throttle all the way back to zero. That's how you calibrate it. And, yeah, if the engines are running, it, you're going to get your, you know, caution warning. That's what we were hearing. We were hearing it freak out, you know, because we're on the ground with the engines running and we're going through. So now everything's calibrated. My throttle's calibrated. Well, my throttle's calibrated now. Um, and that's what it asks you to do. And in the manual, it says to do it every flight, so I guess every flight you should do that. Just in case, you know, your throttle gets all messed up or something. Um, I don't know why they want you to do it, but that's how to do it. And that's it, everybody. Um, that's all it takes to calibrate it. So it's now calibrated, and if I wanted to go through the steps... Okay, and just say, hey, you know, how do I know it's calibrated? Well, I mean, right, I'm, I'm, in, I'm at idle, right? Okay, sorry, I bumped my throttle. I'm at idle, now I'm at reverse idle. Now I'm at max idle. Now I'm back at reverse idle. Now I want to go to standard idle. I'm there. And I want to go forward to climb, right? And then I want to go to flex MCI. And then I want to go to take off GA, right? And, and there we go, right? So it's like freaking out, right? Oh my God, the, sorry God. You know, the throttle's all the way up and I'm just rolling it back all the way to zero. That's it. So that's how you do it, by the way. Let's get my hands off the throttle. So that's it. That's exactly how you do it. That's how you calibrate your throttle in the MCDU for the Phoenix A320. Real simple. You just gotta do that, I guess, every flight, and you should have no issues, no glitches with the with your throttle. Yeah. Anyhow, I hope this has been helpful to someone out there, and you know, thanks for watching Derp Your Hoods, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the skies.